This is an Arizona's Family News Update. Good morning to you. I'm Yetta Gibson. Here are the latest stories that we're following for you from the Arizona's Family Newsroom. We are tracking new coronavirus numbers. As usual here in Arizona, now 331 more people have been reportedly diagnosed with COVID-19 in Arizona, bringing the total number of people with COVID-19 in Arizona to 14,897. Sadly, 747 people have died from this virus. 43 of those were reported yesterday. Well, today you can get a coronavirus test and you can do that for free thanks to Fry's Food Stores. The store and the Little Clinic partnered with the city of Tempe to expand its drive through testing at Tempe Diablo Stadium for another five days. And this is going to continue today through Saturday and it's going to happen again next Wednesday through Saturday. The testing runs from 8 until 1 in the afternoon. You do have to register ahead of time to get the test and we have that link for you. It's at azfamily.com. Phoenix police are now looking for a murder suspect after a teenager was killed. 16 year old Sean Chen was pronounced dead at a hospital after he was shot outside of this quick trip. This is near 19th Avenue in Glendale. A 17 year old and an 18 year old were also shot. According to police, they were taken to the hospital in critical but stable condition. Police say this shooting happened around eight last night. If you have any information, please call police or silent witness. And we've got good news to report on the East Desert fire that is burning right now near Cave Creek. It is now 80% contained. That is great news. Crews have been able to hold this fire line or all of the fire lines they put out. It's still burned though, 1500 acres. All evacuations, they have been lifted. Today, crews are going to be checking for hot spots and continuing to secure the fire line. This fire, by the way, was human caused. We've got lighter winds on top today. That's good news for firefighters and residents uh, in those areas. A high of just 88 degrees today. Uh, the winds from the last couple of days ushered in a cooler air mass. And so 88 is well below our normal mid-90s for this time of year. Those 90s are coming back, though. Low 90s tomorrow, upper 90s by the weekend, and triple digits on tap for Memorial Day. All right, April, thank you. For updates on more stories that we're following for you, you can download our app, you can subscribe to our YouTube, as well as our Roku channels. I'm Yetta Gibson. Have a great day, everybody.